Hi, this is Miles Marie, the Soldier of Mary. In this video, I'm going to look at the claim that Our Lady's apparitions in Akita, Japan, are a continuation of the message of Fatima. So, there's quite a few people on the internet who are connecting these two apparitions together. On your screens will be a couple of YouTube videos and articles linking the two apparitions. In fact, even Bishop Ito of Japan, of the diocese in which Akita resides, he actually declared that he felt that Akita, the apparitions that he was giving his approval to, were a continuation of the message of Fatima. So that gives a bit of support to this claim already that Akita is the continuation of Fatima. Like in previous video on the continuation of Fatima at Medjugorje, I'm going to look at the principal features of the Fatima apparitions and see how Akita, or if Akita, concords with these principles of Fatima. Okay, so first up, devotion to the Immaculate Heart. Does Our Lady talk about devotion to the Immaculate Heart at Akita? Interestingly, she doesn't really. The word Immaculate Heart does not feature in the three. There are three messages of Our Lady at Akita to Sister Agnes. Sister Agnes, a handmaid of the Blessed Sacrament, begins to have locutions as she gazes upon the statue of Our Lady in her chapel. She also experiences a stigmata in her hand and the statue of Our Lady weeps blood and it weeps human tears and it sweats as well. And so there's a lot of stuff going on with this statue of Our Lady. And as Sister Agnes is in prayer before the statue, although she's deaf, she receives these locutions, these audible messages from Our Lady. They take place in 1973 over the course of a few months between June 1973 and October 1973. Although certainly later on in life, our Lord acts in Sister Agnes's life yet further, giving her healing from her deafness. But essentially, there are three messages of Akita, and the messages are not about devotion to the Immaculate Heart. Devotion to the Immaculate Heart was central at Fatima. God sent Our Lady to Fatima to increase in the world devotion to her Immaculate Heart, saying that souls will be saved if people are devout to the Immaculate Heart. She said to the children, you have seen hell, the place where poor sinners go to save them. God wishes to establish in the world devotion to my Immaculate Heart. Concerning Russia, Russia will spread her errors. Many nations will be annihilated. In the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. In Akita, in the three messages, the Immaculate Heart is not mentioned. So that's a no in terms of continuation of the message of Fatima. The second one, Russia will spread her errors. Then talking about how Russia needs to be consecrated and then Russia will be converted. Again, I can cut straight to the point here. Russia isn't mentioned, nor is the call for Russia to be consecrated to the Immaculate Heart mentioned, nor is there a future prophecy about the conversion of Russia. So a no for that one. Now the third one. Until Russia is converted and consecrated, there will be persecution of the church. The Holy Father will have much to suffer. There will be wars. There will be the annihilation of nations. Okay, this is where Akita kicks into action. If you know anything about Akita, Akita, one of the three reasons that people think Akita is a continuation of Fatima is a lot of people think that the third message of Akita is the third secret of Fatima. We didn't get the third secret in 1960, it was never released, but Our Lady in Akita tells us the full story, essentially telling us there's going to be apostasy within the church, cardinal opposing cardinal. Um, there's going to be great difficulties within the church as heresy invades the church.
Let me quote her directly. She says, The work of the devil will infiltrate even into the church in such a way that one will see cardinals opposing cardinals, bishops against bishops. The priests who venerate me will be scorned and opposed by their confrères. Churches and altars sacked. The church will be full of those who accept compromises and the demon will press many priests and consecrated souls to leave the service of the Lord. The demon will be especially implacable against souls consecrated to God. The thought of the loss of so many souls is the cause of my sadness. Is sins increase in number and gravity, there will be no longer pardon for them. Okay, so that's the third part of the third message of Akita, which is so strong. And people think, is that the third secret of Fatima? Some people think Cardinal Ratzinger actually declared that this was the third secret of Fatima. Apparently, in earlier versions of the Ratzinger report, he says, yes, the message of Akita is essentially the same as the third secret of Fatima. Some people think that he let that out and that in later editions of the book, it's no longer present. It's interesting. Another individual who says uh, Cardinal Ratzinger said this to him, that it corresponds to the third secret. And as we know, Cardinal Ratzinger definitely saw the full third secret. But then later on, he would come to say that the third secret referred to this assassination attempt of Pope John Paul II. So the thing gets very confusing. But a lot of people think that that message that I've quoted to you is essentially the content of the third secret. Certainly at Fatima, Our Lady spoke about this internal crisis in the church, this internal crisis and that the, the church will have persecutions, the Holy Father will have much to suffer, there will be wars. And Akita does seem to be continuing this message. In fact, in terms of annihilation of nations, at Akita, just before the message of cardinals opposing cardinals and the devil entering the church, we have this horrible vision, this horrible vision of a terrible punishment, a conditional terrible punishment falling on all humanity, a punishment greater than the deluge, such as one will never have seen before. Fire falling from the sky, wiping out a great part of humanity, the good as well as the bad, sparing neither priests nor faithful. The survivors will find themselves so desolate that they will envy the dead. So this is all in the third message of Akita in October 1973. But also in the second message of Akita, Our Lady says, in order that the world might know his anger, the Father's, the Heavenly Father is preparing to inflict a great chastisement on all mankind. With my son, I've intervened so many times to appease the wrath of the Father. I have prevented the coming of calamities by offering him the sufferings of the Son on the cross. And essentially, the second message also is about coming chastisement. So definitely, it seems like this intermediary element, until the consecration of Russia, there will be persecution, there will be difficulties in the church, there will be wars, there will be annihilation of nations. That is key in the Akita message. Okay, next one. Communion and reparation on the five first Saturdays. No, this is not present in Akita. Although uh, Sister Agnes is part of this congregation in honor of the Blessed Sacrament, there's no mention of communion of reparation. There is a Eucharistic prayer of reparation given at Akita, a prayer relating to saying sorry to God for the offences committed against the Blessed Sacrament, but not reparation towards Our Lady's Immaculate Heart, which has been so offended. So in many ways, you see, there is mention at Akita of devotion to the Sacred Heart and reparation to the Sacred Heart and then to the Eucharist. It seems like in some respects, Akita is more of a continuation of Margaret Mary Alloque than Fatima in with regards to Immaculate Heart and reparation to the Immaculate Heart. It's more of a reminder of Margaret Mary's devotion of consecration to the Sacred Heart, reparation to the Sacred Heart. 
Okay, the next one. Pray the rosary every day. At Akita, Our Lady does tell the community to pray the rosary every day. In fact, she says each day recite the, recite the prayers of the rosary. With the rosary, pray for the Pope, bishops and priests. That's in the third message. So the rosary is mentioned. Um, that's definitely a part of the message of Akita. It's in the third message. There's only three messages and one of them has pray the rosary every day. So it does seem to be there in a big way. With the rosary, pray in the time of the coming chastisement, Our Lady even says that the only arms which will remain for you will be the rosary and the sign left by my son. Actually, people don't really know what the sign left by my son refers to here, so it's kind of interesting. But certainly, the rosary is going to be our weapon after this terrible punishment, this calamity that will come from the skies at the same time that there's all this internal opposition, division within the heart of the church. Okay, the next one, prayer and penance for the conversion of sinners. Certainly, penance is mentioned. Prayer and penance are mentioned. We're told in the third message, as I told you, if men do not repent and better themselves, the Father will inflict a terrible punishment on all humanity. And again, later on, Our Lady says that prayer, penance and courageous sacrifices can soften the Father's anger. Again, I have prevented the coming of calamities by offering the suffering of the Son on the cross, his precious blood and beloved souls who consecrate him, forming a cohort of victim souls. So there is... There is certainly a message about penance, repentance. What about for sinners in particular? This message seems to be about, about penance in order to prevent calamities. There is something, though, about conversion. In August, Our Lady says, Many men in this world afflict the Lord. I desire souls to console him, to soften the anger of the Heavenly Father. I wish with my son... For souls who will repair by their suffering and their poverty for the sinners and the ungrateful. So, again, it's reparation, actually. Sinners are mentioned there, but it's not prayer and penance for the conversion of sinners. It's prayer and penance in order to console our Lord, which, they, which is in Fatima because Francisco feels called to do prayer and penance to console our Lord, who appears to him as upset in some way. So maybe there is a continuation, but it's not the Jacinta style of penance for the conversion of sinners. Perhaps we get a glimpse of it in the prayer that Our Lady encourages Sister Agnes to say. She encourages her to say this prayer of reparation to the Sacred Heart, and part of that prayer has the following line, Please receive this humble offering of myself. Use me as you will for the glory of God the Father and the salvation of souls. It's general, it's general, but it's something. So I kind of think maybe half a tick for this one. Okay, next one, final one, the Fatima prayer, save us from the fires of hell. How does this come across in Akita? Well, Our Lady never mentions hell in Akita, so we don't have the same emphasis on saving souls from hell. There is this thing about the demon being very active, the demon leading many souls away from consecrated life. I'll repeat the line again. The demon will press many priests and consecrated souls to leave the service of the Lord. The demon will be especially implacable against souls consecrated to God. The thought of the loss of so many souls is the cause of my sadness. If sins increase in number and gravity, there will no longer be pardon for them. So there we go. That last bit is a bit strange about there'll be no longer pardon for them. How that works, I'm not sure, because the sacrament of confession is always going to work. But maybe it means that the chastisement will come 
And so if you are in the state of mortal sin, it's going to be too late for you to repent, to go to confession. Perhaps that's what she's referring to. There's no mention of hell in the apparitions. There's a mention of a hellish punishment upon humanity fire falling from the sky destroying good and the bad alike but there's no oh my jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy i read myself some years back that sister agnes had been taught that prayer by our lady during the apparitions at Akita and that she had never come across it before and she was taught to say it at the end of the rosary but you know I can't actually find any evidence of that online I can't find anyone else saying this really it seems like maybe it was a rumor something I'd misheard when I was younger so the last one a repetition of the Fatima prayer that's not really there at Akita so overall what can we say is Akita a continuation of the message of Fatima? In part, I think it is. But Akita has its own special emphasis. It has its special emphasis on that section of the Fatima message. That there will be a persecution of the church. There will be an annihilation of nations. The Holy Father will have much to suffer. All the stuff that happens before the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. If Akita is a continuation of Fatima, it's more of an amplification of a little part of the message of Fatima with some trappings of rosary each day and penance and reparation. And even, I mean, the Sacred Heart is featured at Fatima because Our Lady says that the Immaculate Heart is to be placed alongside the Sacred Heart, not to be forgotten about. So I think we can say Akita is a continuation of Fatima, but I do have questions about Akita. I do have questions about it because this whole thing about the fire coming from heaven that was meant to be immediate, this was 1973. We're now in 2021. Sister Agnes, what has happened to her? All this stuff is really interesting, but that's going to be a mess. another talk for another day. I hope you found this video interesting. I think we conclude that Akita is, in some way, a continuation of the message of Fatima. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.